Hi, uh, welcome back. Um, this is a continuation of the video on Professor Paul Shen Lo's method of solving the quadratic. Uh, last time I said I'd go through some examples where the uh, A term is not equal to one. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so let's just review uh, quickly what I said last time. I said that if we're given the equation x squared plus bx plus c, then the sum of two roots is equal to negative b. So that means the, the average of the two roots is negative b over two. If you have the two roots on the two side here, then the average would be at the, at the lowest point right here. Okay, and that'll be negative b over two. That's assuming a is equal to one. And so the two roots, one's gonna be the average plus some z, and the other is gonna be the average minus some z and the two roots have to multiply to the C term, okay? So um, if we multiply out the left side, we get the difference of square. There's no Z term, you solve a Z squared and you take the square root of that and you get Z. All right, so let's go ahead and do this example. We have two X squared plus five X plus one equals zero. And last time I gave this, um, I gave this first step as given the equation x squared plus bx plus c. Well, we're not given the equation with a equals one. We are given an equation with a not equal to one, uh, a equals two. So we're gonna have to divide by, by a to make it that way. So I'm gonna change the first step. I'm gonna call it step zero. Step zero is make the equation into an equation with a equals to one. And we do that by dividing it off. So we're gonna divide the whole thing by two. We end up with x squared plus five half x plus one half is equal to zero. Okay, the sum of the two roots is negative b, meaning negative this new b, not the original one. So the average is negative five half, and I divide that by two, and that gets me negative five fourth. The product of the two roots is C, so I'm just gonna take the average minus five fourth, plus some Z is one of the roots, negative five fourth minus the same Z is the other root, and they have to be equal to one half. The left-hand side is the difference of squares. It multiplies to 25 over 16 minus z squared. And the right-hand side is one half. And I'm gonna need to solve for z squared. And this is where you know the fractions get a little bit uh, in the way if you're not good with fractions. I need common denominator. So one half is the same as eight over 16. So that allows me to solve for z squared. The z squared is 25 minus eight is 17 over 16. So that gets me z is square root of 16, uh, sorry, 17 over four. And so the roots are negative five fourth plus radical 17 over four and negative five fourth minus radical 17 over four. Uh, as you can see, there's some um, fraction manipulation you need to be good at, okay? But um, I assume you are good at fractions and if you're not, this is a good practice. All right, next example. I'm gonna follow the same steps. First, I divide by two, I get x squared plus five half x plus three is equal to zero. Okay. And so the average is the new b, negative the new b minus five half, divide by two, so that's negative five fourth. So negative the new b, divide by two. And again, I get set up the equation as the average plus some z 
times the average minus same z is equal to the new c, which is 3. Again, multiply out the left side, I get 25 over 16 minus z squared equals to 3. I know I'm going to need common denominators, so uh, 3 is um, 48 over 16. Right, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 1 is, 3 times 10 is 30, 30 and 18 makes 48. Okay, so that gets me z squared is equal to 25 minus 48, which is negative 23 over 16. which is a negative number. And therefore Z is gonna be the square root of a negative. That gets us into the complex um, number system. Okay. And so this is, um, to me, this is also better than the traditional quadratic formula because in the traditional quadratic formula, you plug the numbers in and you end up with a negative inside that square root and you just, okay, so it's negative, so I, I but you really don't know why it's negative and what it's doing there. And what this says is that the way it's set up is um, this z squared is a negative and that's why you have the square root of a negative. Okay? Whereas without this method, it's like, yeah, okay, I can see it's squared negative, but why? Okay. All right, so I know why, because z squared is a negative. So that means z is square root of negative 23 over four, which you can write in terms of i as i radical 23 over 4. So the roots are negative 5 fourth plus i times radical 23 over 4 is 1 and the other is negative 5 4 minus i radical 23 over 4. All right, so yeah, it works, this method works with um, complex numbers as well. All right, I want to work with um, the general situation now, because I want to show you something neat. In the general situation of ax squared plus bx plus c, I want to turn the equation into an equation with a equals one. Then first I divide by a. So first I divide by a, and I'm with x squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals zero. The average is now the new b divided by two, so that's minus b over two a. And the products are gonna be negative over 2 a, uh, negative b over 2a plus z times negative b over 2a minus z equals to the new c, which is c over a. And you can do that manually. But I want to point uh, uh, your attention to this expression right here. The average is negative b over 2a. So you have a parabola like this. And the average is right here. Okay, the parabola might be right side up, upside down, if it upside down, then the average is right here at the highest point. If it's right side up, um, what we call in math concave up, um, then the average is at the lowest point. So what we have is that the x value of that point is minus b over 2a. The x value of that point is minus b over 2a. Okay the x value of the vertex of a, of a parabola is minus b over 2a because it's the average of those two groups. This will be important for you later in your career as an algebra student. So I thought I'd just bring it up now. All right, thanks for watching, bye.